Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Nick Toy World. Um, I haven't recorded a new video for like a long time. Um, so, well, since because I don't have any new toys to show, but um, recently I um, I found this particular toys uh, Iron Man Mark One. You know, I always want to have this uh, figure, right? And um, and uh, either they really expensive from Hot Toy or, or something or a statue, but um, you know, uh, it's uh, difficult to get something like you know decent. Um, and and then the thing I don't want, I don't like the the toys that uh, you know, they sell in uh, Target or Walmart, right? So, um, a, this is a Chinese version. Somehow they uh, I don't know where they they copy it from, but this figure is around um, uh, in the one twelve scale, and uh, it uh, it came with a whole bunch of accessory. Actually, when you when you buy it online. Um, you know, uh, like AliExpress, they actually have a few options, right? You want to buy with some of these accessory without it or something. If you want less accessory, a lot cheaper. So I got this thing around like uh, I don't know, maybe forty bucks total. It's a little bit uh, expensive size uh, for the, the size of the figure, but um, you know, it it's quite cool. So I'm gonna show you what uh, this came with, right? So it it um, it fully articulated, so the leg, uh, the arm and all this and uh, it, it can move around and it, it came with the stand okay so it's like this um, so you kind of uh, put it on the stand and hook in these um, the flamethrower right and then they, they can just unplug actually it, it two pieces and you get this one and then you attack this one to make it like a like a fire okay it uh, it little bit soft plastic so you're not gonna break easily you know maybe um, Maybe a long time it maybe get fragile and brittle and easy to break. But right now look pretty good. Same thing here. I can I can unplug this, and um, and there there is two two blasts are coming out from hit foot like this, right? So it doesn't attach to anything. You have to just put it on top, and um, it also came with um, another clip right here. So maybe I don't know. Maybe holding somewhere in here. I haven't used this one yet. So. Not sure how to use it, and then there the missile. Um, it came with two missile uh, like this. I believe it can be attached to. Um, I forgot where it is. Uh, maybe somewhere in here, like this, right? And um, it's not really a um, a hole that you can plug in. You just you just put it in there, right? And then or. It came back from his backpack, you know, like uh, I don't know where it come from, but it look, mostly this coming from right here, and uh, you can attach these things just like that, and then his arm go like this, and uh, you see that it articulated. Um, this this part on the back it came up all the time, so I don't know what the purpose of this bun, but um, but it's supposed to be attached all the time, right? It it an engine, but I don't know why they make it detachable, so. Uh, not sure uh, what the purpose of why detachable it is, but but it should always be attached like this. And um, in the the picture, they actually have a free play for you, you know how to uh, pull the figure and all that stuff. And uh, the joint is um, it's okay, not very strong, right? Especially in the arm, it it uh, you see the leg, it's kind of weird, right? But but yeah, standing he can stand by this. Actually, quite cool. Uh, see, fall up again. Um, and uh, and then it came with this fire also. So apparently that you can attach to something here. So this is the, um, you know, I don't know if I'm missing any accessory, but it looks like pretty complete and uh, look pretty good. It like you see my hand like this, right? So it, it's around six inch tall. So uh, I'm a little bit disappointed um, because the size, right? It I, I would expect it a little bit bigger. Uh, but it came to be, but it's okay, you know, it uh, it would be nice that they, they make it um, in like a one nice scale or something like that and that would be, you know, perfect, but of course, with that, then the price gonna be a little bit higher you know, I'm, it's okay, I'm, I'm willing to pay a little bit higher for for bigger scale, but you know, this one, good and uh, the head can rotate and all that uh, this one appear look like, um, uh, I don't know uh, but there's no light in here, so I, I couldn't. I, I don't think there's any battery attached to here, so I, I, I guess this uh, it's just uh, a piece of plastic, so no light. 
it would be great that we can put a light here and then the battery connect somewhere you know and uh, it could be good so uh, so here it is and uh, this is the uh, Iron Man um, Mark 1 uh, quite nice uh, action figure right um, you know I, I always want this you know, the thing is I have so many Iron Man you know Mark 85, Mark 50, 42, 43, 44 all kind of stuff and this is where it, the, the most primitive one that he create right and um, you see all the I don't know that you can get focused very well with this clothes but um, but yeah this the, the paint job is pretty good I mean I like the paint job I mean it looks like uh, it's the metal that he would create in that cave and and uh, you see it uh, you know all the thing and all that stuff so it's just quite good um, okay so uh, so let's uh, let me uh, if I can zoom in and do some more closer look and then let you guys see okay and uh, go from there okay guys yeah, so um, here's the I think probably the, the closer I can get with this uh, lens I have right now uh, actually get a new camera too uh, so it's it not very close up but anyway you see that uh, from here and see the, the paint and all that stuff and uh, foot the back actually say start something <laughs> um, I don't know like kind of cool this part over here is not movable you know like um, I don't know like a chain on uh, on the side yeah it doesn't work right well in a real life you know if, if you stay inside the metal it probably it walk in coffin but <laughs> it it a movie right so but kind of cool anyway and um, yeah so hopefully you can see it and then these are the flamethrower um, I don't know, hopefully focus yeah it it, it um, translucent so uh, pretty good I don't know I mean I I like this one and um, I think these things are a little bit weak, so uh, uh, the stain a little bit weak, so difficult to put him on sometimes. You know, see, it, it keeps falling off, and uh, I had to put these uh, these uh, flame, I mean flame, uh, repulsive glass or something like that below here, and then attach this guy in right here. It it went right in here, okay, it went right in like this. Probably I need to attach them first, and then uh, put it on top. It actually indicate the left or right, so um, and go like this, and then same thing go like this. Let me probably zoom out and uh, let you guys see more. Okay, hopefully it's okay. Okay, all right. So flame. All right, yeah. So look by that, and let's see. You <clears throat> can zoom in real quick. Yep. And then, uh, well, this thing fall up again. I probably just uh, glue them on the back, so never fall up again. And the missile. You know, I mean, either you attack the the flamethrower or the missile. The, I mean, if you do both, it look cool, but not realistic. So um, maybe, or maybe just. And here, I don't know if he had a missile in the back like this, but could be like that. And yeah, so that's what it is. So um, cool, guys. I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching, and please check out my uh, other video for more video. And have a good day. Happy New Year. Bye bye.